Hi everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening. And what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about uh, vector images. And this might help, I guess some, I'm sure some of you are completely new to working with vectors. And let me just say right up front too, I am not an expert at working with uh, vector images but I do have quite a bit of experience working with Photoshop, uh, several years of extensive Photoshop working. Um, I do a lot of photography work. And fortunately for me, Photoshop, if you've worked with it a lot, a lot of programs that are similar editing type things like your vector image programs, are very similar to Photoshop in a lot of ways and a lot of the Adobe products all kind of play off of each other so working with Adobe products can be helpful if you're going from one Adobe program like Illustrator to Photoshop um, to kind of understand what's going on there now that said uh, let's just talk some real really basic stuff because like I said I am new to vector images I am not an expert but I do think I can help probably some of you out there that are brand new and maybe have no experience with uh, photography or uh, vectors or graphics so let me show you a few things that I've determined and figured out uh, that I found very helpful that I wish I had known um, maybe even a little sooner and we'll go from there so let's start with this up here so if you go to a free downloading vector site or a paid one so like uh, this is one I paid for this one over here I got for free this was a free download from a site uh, this is a bunch of spider webs and this is a good example of one so I downloaded this and it came looking like let me show you here just like this and when I got it I was like okay <laughs> what do I do with this so I I already knew that vectors were made up of a bunch of individual images so sometimes when you download a vector uh, it's gonna be a bunch of different things but maybe the thing you want is just one part of it so if it's all together in one big bunch it might even show up as only one file and if that's the case when you have something that looks like it's a bunch of things the first thing you want to do is just select the whole thing and come up here and ungroup it and so let me see let me see if I can group this group all right yeah so it's gonna look like this so when I brought this into laser pecker design space it was one file and it looked like this and if I clicked on it you see it's all moving as one giant thing but maybe I just want this one little spider web inside there maybe I don't want to use all this other stuff so the first thing you have to do is ungroup so this is where group and ungroup are gonna be your best friend so you select the whole thing you can do it by just dragging across it like that and you can come up here and then hit ungroup and now you'll see all these files opened up on my right hand side and these are all the individual little parts of this vector so if I start turning some of these things off you'll see things will start disappearing so watch boom there goes the little outside frame gone there goes the first spider web there goes another one and another one and another one okay so let's say we just wanted to use just this one I could go through and individually turn them all off I can select a whole bunch of them and group them together and then turn off that group boom that's one way I could do it I can also uh, I believe it's control I get yep, on the Mac it's uh, or is it command it might be nope control yeah it's control so if I hold down control and I start clicking on them I can click on all the ones and make that a group 
and turn that off and it looks like I missed one here so I'll just grab that one and turn that off and now I have that one that I wanted to work with which is shape 11 over here and if this is the only one I wanted to work with now I can work with this graphic do whatever I want to it turn it change it do whatever minor edits in in here that I can do with it um, fill it in and that then gives me the ability to work with just that one image so I thought you guys might appreciate that and that might help you out with dealing with when you have a vector that's made up of a whole bunch of vectors and you're like how do I get to the one that I want I only wanted this cobweb I didn't want all of them so let me just show you uh, what I was doing with it and basically I'll come back up here and I was just building a spider with a spider web and so I got a spider and I got a web and very similar type of thing I combined them and brought them in together uh, now this is interesting sometimes you'll see this too so this uh, this artwork came from design by allfreedownload.com and actually even all of this lettering down here at the bottom relates to a group and that's a, all this stuff is all that lettering so you can see I can I can group it all together in one turn it off and now that is all gone from my design so just wanted to show you that I thought that might help some of you out there understanding that vectors are often sometimes made up of a whole bunch of vectors and how to get the maybe specific ones you want if there's multiple vectors in your downloaded vector that you got so now let's talk a little bit about editing beyond what laser pecker design space might do so i like i said have a lot of experience with photo with uh, photoshop and there are things if i'm working with images i could you i can use photoshop for but for vector editing you kind of need a vector editing program now illustrator is great but it's 20 dollars a month so i went out to see are there some free options out there uh, if I wanted to do some stuff that I can't do real well in Photoshop um, and that maybe I need something a little bit more sophisticated than Laser Pecker Design Space and there are a few options out there now the most sophisticated one I found was called Inkscape and it's a freeware program I believe they have it for all the platforms out there I know uh, they definitely have it for Mac um, I'm on a MacBook Pro here and I think they had uh, Windows also so I'm just gonna click this so you guys can see it so here is uh, Inkscape and it's a very robust editing program and you can do a lot of stuff with it I'm not gonna get into the details of editing on here because quite frankly I can't really help you all that much with it I have a lot to, that I have to learn here fortunately like I said for me a lot of the things are very similar to Photoshop so I have that little bit of an advantage there now if you need something even more basic and maybe a little more user-friendly because I will say this Inkscape seems to be fairly robust um, I found another one out there and that's this one down here we're gonna jump to that program that's called drawpad uh, and this is drawpad and drawpad is also free uh, for consumer um, use so you can uh, and you can see from here that drawpad is uh, a little more user user friendly uh, but it's also not quite as sophisticated but it does allow you the ability to do some vector editing uh, beyond what laser pecker design space does so i just wanted to share those options with you it's drawpad and inkscape and i hope this little uh instructions there about 
vector images and grouping and ungrouping may help some of you out there when you start dealing with vector images and you're like, why is there a bunch of stuff in here? And I really only want this one little part of it. All right, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this and have a great night, everybody. Mm -hmm.